Oh god, I'm so excited for the ultimate. Proliferate. We exile stuff. Expensive stuff from our expensive deck, alright? And that's the proliferate. We untap. That's crazy. We go proliferate. We do it again. I have no idea how many cards there are, but I'm still doing it. And I'm trying to just wait until, you know, do it before he concedes. 31 cards. Hello everyone, it's Love here again with the new deck from New Format because the format is absolutely amazing and I love all the cards. But before we go into today's deck, there's something I have to share with you guys and you will be absolutely excited because we created new meta for the set. I just was checking your results for the meta stats and our deck, our favorite deck from yesterday is the top Demir deck right now with the highest win rate. Man, I'm so happy and you guys played over 100 games with this one. So we have it con kinda confirmed, it's, it's the new meta, at least so far. And you know, it looks even better when we compare it to different versions because there were plenty of different fairy version decks and you can see they are not even close to the win rate. Our deck from yesterday is actually the only deck so far that is breaking the meta. So here you are, you have seen it first here. All right, let's go to the, today's deck because it's equally exciting. And there is a cool combo of it that you probably are not aware. I wasn't aware about it as well. Staff of Completion together with Ashok is absolutely mind blowing because the only downside to this card, this card is absolutely amazing, but you need to pay so much life. However, it's not the case with Ashok and the proliferate that you can do even amplifies Ashok so much because you exile so many cards which means the ultimate gets better and thanks to proliferate you can get ultimate faster because you put counters so if you start with five loyalty all you need is have stuff of completion in the board and five mana spare you can double proliferate and ultimate ashok already and given you paid uh, six life you exile six cards from the top of your library and the minus will be huge so you will see i made sure that you will see it in action you can go for absolute crazy plays exiling your opponent's full deck you need to prepare but i think it's such an epic combo and i'm not sure if anyone realize that it's here and guys i know what you think wow sloth you are such a great player to think of this great idea you are an absolute genius well about that <laughs> uh, full credit goes to nit party uh, because that was his idea from one of the comments from uh, yesterday's video and you know what i thought Man, this is a really good idea. I honestly tried to use mono black with Ashok, but I didn't have great results with this one. And I think the Esper control is a better share because you are very durable and you just need a way to close the game. And this does it without investing too many cards. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. I know you want to subscribe deep inside your soul and not miss any of the cool decks from the new format. So don't forget to also like and share the video because the more you share and like it, the more YouTube recommends it so everyone can be aware of this absolutely unexpected combo because I think that's something worth mentioning. All right guys and I know you are eager to see some action with the new card so let's not talk more and enjoy the show. I hope you will like it. We're on the play and we have our bro Ashok already ready. <laughs> that sounded weird. All right so I think we should make an interesting game and we're against Dimir Ferris. Uh, do we, I mean, we cannot kill it, right? But Voidrant is very good at killing this this one. Let's uh, start getting, like, losing cards. My ego is too strong. Yep. We'll get rid of the first one, at least. Voidrant, Voidrant might be huge. Let's see if he has more. What is this? Spell Pierce? No, he would cast it, so... Alright, sometimes they have two of them, and that hurts, man. That absolutely hurts. Let's see what they play. The countdown is here. A nothing. A strong nothing is something I kinda like. Enjoy? I mean, Voidrant pretty good. <laughs> Am I right? As you can see, there's no way you could kill this uh, with normal removal. Like, not... Return a spell. Alright, alright. Very interesting. Very interesting, and that's the second Ashok. So we can kill this with Go for the Throat. And then we can Sunset Reverie. 
But then, no, we don't have mana then. I would love to draw a card so I can make sure that Ashok is there. I still think we go like this. Uh, Voidrant is a good card, so I value it higher than go for the throat, even though it's less mana efficient. Dream Thief. Alright, that's a, that's a good one drop, but not na like nothing scary. Really. It enables or death parry interactions, like a counter spell, and that's probably the biggest value. So for this reason we are going for Sunset Trevor because that's a full value one, and I think they have this fairy counter spell. You don't really want to kill it, to be honest. Fern Mastermind. Hmm. Do I want to kill you? If they cast it now, they probably have something good. And this cannot be countered, so it's an extremely good removal. Let's see. I think they might have 3 or 4 drop, and they want to bait out the Void Rant. But after the combat phase, that might be good enough. I will take this 3 damage, it's not a biggie right now. I kinda enjoy the gameplay, man. So he cannot go for the Mastermind. Alright, let's go for this one. And see what's up. I hope he will tap and then, then I can fade Ashok. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Because now we have Ashok and that will be a huge problem for him. We can try to go aggressive and just exile cards, but then we lose Ashok and I don't like losing Ashok. I like the card. Which one is better? I mean, the forest is strictly better here. It creates more pressure. Everything has flying, so we might as well start doing damage. It will matter, we need to kill him at some point. We are not having any stuff of completion, so I think this plan is a bit too slow right now. But we will see. And even on the next turn, man, he's not killing us. Uh, I will go like this, even though I need a lamp. An offer you can't refuse might be absolutely game deciding. No mastermind for you. And we still can play the Emperor, which is pretty amazing. We need to pressure him on the mana. They generally don't play as many lands and as much cardo as normal control. So that's where they are weak a little bit. I think it's a good play. The trigger has happened. <laughs> I forgot what the game was about, but I think I wanted to exalt Dream Thief, so let's see if that was a real disconnect. Maybe it was just a disconnect, especially that we are playing, you know, still quite fresh after the new set hit, so maybe there are some, you know, server... Yeah, I think he, he didn't rage good, I think he just was uh, disconnected, probably. Very, very cool to see. So, uh, what do we go for? I think an offer you can... If he, he didn't kill Ashok... He mean, it means he cannot, and also this deck doesn't really deal with Planeswalkers very well. Alright, I think I know. I think I know. Creatures? I mean graveyards, because why not? And that means things were exiled. And you know what happens when things get exiled. This is a card for this card. We already have a 4-4 in the board, and man, that's pretty crazy. And Ashok is still here. And if he... <laughs> that's 18 cards in Exile? Oh, 18 mana in the Exile. And this is the card we prepared for the situation. So we absolutely don't care. You have a 4 mana, 2-3. And let's keep exiling cards, because this is how we win. If we hit uh, Staff of Completion, that's perfect. Uh, Jace is great. But this is even better, man. I love this card so much. It's one of my favorite cards from the set, to be honest. And there's nothing he can do about it. Is anything exiled? Yep, so there will be 3-3. Moment they attack for the first time. We have uh, Sunset Trevor on the play, so that should be good. Uh, I don't think we will play Offer you can't refuse. Like, we also don't need the ramp in any way, right? Because we can counter our own spell if we care. For example, Sunset Trevor. But I just want to cast it as soon as possible. He's communing with spirits. And the spirits say, bruh, take Naturalist. And he's like, alright, I will take it and play it on the next turn. Or maybe not. 
<laughs> but I, I hope there will be a more epic end to my story, but it is what it is. Alright, alright. See, this explains it. He just had it all along. Uh, so what do we do? We can draw a card with forever. He plays Audacity on this, right? But man, Jace is really strong here. Especially that follow-up is an Emperor and it will mess him even more. So this can hit for one at most, and he already needs to spend one third of his mana. So no, we slow. You, you generally want to slow the game down and just sun for. Uh, if we hit Staff of Completion, we can maybe ramp some cool stuff, but we already missed the turn when we needed it, right? Because if we could cast it on turn 3, it could ramp into Sunfall or Ashok, which is pretty good. Alright, our opponent is super tanky. I think he might be thinking about whether to go for one turn punch or just set up and scale in like extremely crazy on the next turn. Like they can play Kami into this one mana spirit guy or something and just go for extremely strong next turn. Is there a way he actually can kill Jace with this? No way he's killing Jace. Alright, alright. He got me scared because that would be a really bad situation. We are definitely overdrawing our stuff. And we'll play Emperor, Exile. This reduces his tempo by like substantial amount. He draws a card, but the board is clear. Um, I think, what is the best play? Ossification, right? He can double it and get rid of both Planeswalkers. Uh, he needs exactly 3 mana. He doesn't have it, that's huge. That's actually very, very huge. And here is the Sunfall, but we cannot cast it unless we try to mill him, which can be very risky. It can be very risky. You know what we can do? Man, this, <laughs> this will be wild. <laughs> This would be really wild. Because I know I won't draw land, alright? I I know my you know my potential, so we will just go like this. And now we will try to make Katilda a little bit weaker and we'll try to block the weaver. I don't think it will work that, this way. He definitely will mess with us a little bit. But it's it's making it much harder for him. And he needs to input in board a lot. Audacity, smart choice. Pumps a lot Katilda without really committing anything. But is that all? If that is all, I can take it. Then I'd probably play Ashok and uh, keep playing stuff. The good part is that I have six. See, I would not hit it. I tell you, man. So now, what do we do? We minus Katilda probably. Or just Sanfo. But then he just vomits the rest of the board, right? I think we'll go for one Ashok. But in this case, we probably want to get Katilda lower, so it's harder for him to kill Ashok. And let's start doing some good cards. Uh, are you good? Yeah, you are pretty good. I wish I could cast it, but it is what it is. So obviously he doesn't want to trade, so we can attack. Don't the ganjo me, please. If he ganjos, I would, I would cry. Honestly, it wasn't worth the risk. Like, if there was any kind of rogue a ganjo, uh, I could throw the game with this play. And two damage doesn't matter. See, he decided that he kinda needs to commit right now, because Ashok is so extremely scary. And he cannot kill Ashok, and he just lost everything. If you played Sunfall on the last turn, you could, you could lose this. Bro? Is that the moment? Is this the moment? Come on, I, I I cannot risk it, man. And this is why we took Sunfall over the populate. Because cars are exiled. Cars are indeed exiled. And let's start exiling big cards. Obey Removal is absolutely amazing, duty. but I want more exile effects so I can ultimate on the next turn. Also, Lant is actually very, very good. Yeah, after thinking, Lant is better. And now, normally... It's fine. Oh, it's so fine. I absolutely do not feel the pain. Uh, but don't you worry, we will get there. We kill you. 
And now we set up the Staff of Completion. And we can also activate the token if we care, but we don't. We want to draw more cards. Sure. And this is what, what completely like uh, closed the game, because I don't think he can come back from this. Let's draw some extra cards for free. And you can see the difference when you are start when you start to draw those cards, man. It's very very different. Let's exile some cards and draw one for free. Removal, perfect. And what can we do right now? We could go for Reverie or just for the token. I think token is a bit better. Uh, cards were exiled, but I still want to try to ultimate. We exile the land. I'm sorry I cannot refuse the sample, man. It's just way too good. And the point is that this creature is instant speed and they don't have instant speed removal. So if they attack, they, we will always get a nice block. Except, you know, this situation, but it doesn't kill Ashok. So I think it's still fine. <laughs> Bro, he's not allowing us to get this, you know, the sweet stuff. But it's fine, so I guess it will be good for the throat after all, huh? Six damage to my face. Acquired. Honestly, even without Ashok, Staff of Completion is really good. Like, look at this stuff. I can just draw cards, man, for free. It's so useful. And... I kill ya. Because I have card advantage. I could heal, but I don't even need to. And I can untap. And draw some more. Very useful. And we still win with this card advantage. Look how much removal we have. <laughs> I can get back to 8, so this can draw also a card, even if it doesn't draw a card. Very good top deck by him. However, it's not good enough to beat us. And we live game. So this means we can also use Staff of Completion again and draw more cards. And play Staff of Co <laughs> I will kill myself with this stuff very quickly. Let's live game a little bit. And let's hit him again. Like, we are doing so many cards with those stuffs. And we have quite a lot of accidental life gain in this deck, more than you think. And suddenly every reverie becomes, like, extremely, like, perfect card for every situation. Because it just cycles for free. Alright. Some quality planes from the top. He probably should keep it right for discarding. I don't see any, any point in... Oh, he wants to draw a different card, sure. Was it was it really worth playing the land? Like, he basically got the same stuff. Let's draw a card. Down to two. I'm, go I'm serious about this, you know, uh, life gain stuff. So what do we do? I could just get rid of everything. And I think it's a pretty correct play. Then I cannot get Virtue. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't think he can win with, without this. This way we get rid of everything. Oh, and I get back Ash. Oh my god, you are so... You are so angry at me right now, I just realized. It's fine. It's fine. So, what we will do is... I don't have enough life. I don't need to pay it, but I still need stuff, man. So I need to life gain somehow. Let's make it disappear. I can add ma mana of any color, but that's it. Alright. I'm not dead, see? I was so scared that I will kill myself. Let's draw some cards then. And we are having fun. So, completion also works with Ashok because you are paying life. So, it exiles cards, but I was a bit scared. I had a lot of fun in this match. Right, we are going first. And we have pretty good lands. This is exactly what we want. This is turn one land. And even though we don't use cut down, I don't think we need to. Frontliner is definitely not something that is very scary. However, having a make disappear uh, is pretty perfect. Let's see the Stalia. Valiant Veteran. Let's go like this. 
because we can play Staff of Completion into Cutdown, and that's absolutely epic. And we will do it. It gives end mana, so it's even better, man. I love this card. It's it's just so versatile. Nice sleeves, by the way. All right, let's see. I do they play still like Siege Veteran? They shouldn't, but it feels like a deck that could because this is literally like soldiers. I mean, you can clearly see what's up. I will definitely play two life for for this perfect removal. And I mean, on the next turn we have Ashok against the. Uh, oh, 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 all right. Do I have the right mana? That's the question. All right. I think we are pretty okay with this. And uh, nothing got exiled, so let's just keep plassing so it's harder to kill. Uh, Virtue is absolutely amazing. It always gets me, man. Let's pretend that I wanted to do it for the ultimate because it's 7 mana card, so it exiles a lot. Alright? This is the official story for the day. Uh, the real one is that I wanted the other cards. <laughs> it's actually easy to mess it up, man. Usually the cards like this work opposite. So you you just get the habit of clicking the card you want and it's like, eh, -huh, it's not the one. So he forgot it's his turn. <laughs> All right. I can untap one time. So we can get to six proliferate, but that's not enough. So I think we'll go for draw a card. Exile some, draw some for free without paying anything and as you can see moment you start using this effect it's insanely good man absolutely insanely good adventure means something was exiled but i still want to go for the ultimate so let's try this one and let's get for the, let's get the land for the next turn i guess we don't draw but we live game and we also get blockers and that's enough and on the next turn we can go for a combo because we can proliferate twice and ultimate Ashok. So I'm not I'm I don't care what happens, this is what happens. Oh man, I'm so excited for the ultimate. This is such a wild combo man. Proliferate. We exile stuff. Expensive stuff from our expensive deck, alright? And that's the proliferate. We untap. That's crazy, we go proliferate, we do it again, I have no idea how many cards there are, but I'm still doing it, and I'm trying to just wait until, you know, do it before he concedes. 31 cards! Alright, I don't think, I don't know if it was worth it, but it was absolutely epic, and I want to use it before he scoops. If I did it one turn later, he probably would scoop. So guys, this is how it works, 31 cards in exile. <laughs> And pure epicness, alright? Uh, yeah, now we probably need to stand for... And the correct play was probably just to wait one more turn and try to stack extra cards and just keep drawing. Uh, because he, there's nothing he can do about it. He's not double spelling, so he won't use Brother Qatar to destroy the token. And yeah, we can ignore the world, right, with Vo Voidrand. And we can play Jace on the Siege Veteran. Oh, that's a good draw. That's a pretty good draw. Man, we can actually go for this. Can we... S yeah, we can survive one turn. Oh boy, this will hurt. Alright, man, we are going just crazy mode with control, but I think this is what new cards are about. Having a lot of fun. And we still have a blocker. We played one spell this turn. And on the next we can go double removal. If we can just survive this turn without like huge hit in the face, uh, we can really stabilize quickly. Sky Strike. Not the worst for us. The counter. Good choice. We'll just block the biggest creature, right? First strike. So this is the block then. Alright, and we're getting one creature back which might have flying, so we already get one blocker a turn for free and there's nothing we can get, you know, that uh, does something cool like Brutal. Oh, I'm so bad. Alright, what I should have done is void rented the upkeep, then go for the throat 
and then my brutal cut i could take brutal qatar and it would flip on his turn that was the correct play so big dummy as always but it's fine all right let's see how he plays uh, we probably don't want to go to combat because it's at the beginning of combat phase and let's kill the first victim right now if he wants to use sky strike officer to draw cards he will lose the game because he loses all the pressure he needs to keep attacking because he's not winning the long game let's see the combat let's go to attackers full swing not super surprised and I will void run the brutal Qatar and probably block this right I think that's the play we could get this you know what that's pretty good all right I don't think we will mess it up he can use it at instant speed so we don't get too much but we, we get better blockers for the next turn all right very good so that means go brutal Qatar right now and he's fully tapped so we decline of course because it's a void run and tree life is quite a lot and I mean that's it right yeah so some damage to the face you don't love to see it but it's also not too much the founders will be scary Founders, oh man, do I really need to counter it? I can counter it. I will be at one. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> man, that's really bad. Oh, it hurt the pain. But it will hit me for two, so it's still kind of the same, right? Hmm. That's an interesting one. I think I lose. <laughs> I think I lose. But I will still try. Let's see how he plays. I cannot double spell unless I counter my own stuff. So I don't think it's worth it. Let's see. I think that's it. But man, I still think it was worth it. To be honest, I really wanted to keep one game that I have this, uh, you know, this combo. And I decided I would keep playing until I get it. So yeah, I really didn't want him to scoop. And I think we would win the game if we actually did the right thing. And wait one more turn for the ultimate. But if he scoops, that's, you know, still lost game for me. So now you, you, you see my good excuse. I'm happy with it. And we will give him a good game. You know what? I think we need to give. Oh, okay, let's go for it because I don't, I don't own it, so I cannot sacrifice it. And that was the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate the sacrifice. Guys, this will be some tap action. That's for sure. <laughs> oh boy! All right, so we we, are, we came pretty tapped into this game, and uh, that's really good. So this will be the Esper mana. We need to really think which turns we care about. I think turn 3 is the one we really care about. Let's get the Esper mana, it will be very useful. So super slow start, but if we can survive it and go for the Void Run, probably on Kalix, I think we can slow the game a little bit, like a bit enough. I would love to play stuff of completion, man, but... He will cast Audacity and draw insane amount of cards, but you know what? I don't care. I'm a Staff of Completion gamer and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Right, Goose? Goose is also Staff of Completion gamer. And Goose absolutely knows how the game ends. Like, if you think Goose doesn't know how the game already is decided, you are a fool. She knows everything. Right? Every head knows different kind of future, like Doctor Strange. Alright, this was super great. <laughs> But I really like the goose, so you, you need to you need to know endure it. All right, so four cards to go, audacity of course. And the point is that he's getting a little bit of value, not the biggest value. And I will start doing cards with stuff of completion because I have no regards to my life total. And this is perfect. The problem is that he will draw two cards when we sand for, so we are not getting really advantage here. Good choice. Uh, but we are gaining a lot of tempo. 
and as long as we can survive and this, it's actually pretty huge and drawing lands and carving is also pretty huge I will pay more life he will draw more cards let's see the actual gameplay he played it very very well unfortunately he knows that sunfall is possibility so he just prepared that we didn't get card advantage really I would need to count but it feels that I don't think we even got more cards than he invested uh, Ganjo is absolutely perfect for us because it gives no value and it costs insane amount of mana. I don't think this is a good card for the build. So this was basically the least power he can make in one turn, which I will not mind. What do we do now? Sunset Reverie seems great. I have how many cards? Seven. I can go to five easily. I can go lower if I care, if I want to kill this. That's not bad. So I void run this. No, it's not worth it. I will get it anyway. And pass the turn. The classic. The control classic. <laughs> Alright. I think we have this game. It's not over. And I would love to hit Ashok. And with Emperor, I think we can set up the like very good board for Ashok. Just trying to ultimate with stuff of completion. And we have a lot, so we should draw one soon. Audacity. Sure. The point is that Audacity only draws cards. You still doesn't really gain much of it. And it means I can use minus one. He knows about this token, so he's not even attacking. And let's go. Our board is suddenly much more interesting. Do we want to proliferate? It's not bad. But I also still prefer to draw cards. <laughs> and when you draw Sunset Trevor, you feel like a, like a champ. Because you are not really losing life, right? Do I want to life gain? Not really. I have control over the board, so we should be fine. Let's attack with Samurai. Is there interaction? Interaction not acquired. We have between 6 and 7 mana. Because we can still use stuff of completion once. And every life gain you get is more stuff of completion triggers. Man, I, I am always left at 1 life with this card. <laughs> which is uh, perfect with Painlands. Alright, our opponent. Really tanking about... Oh boy, he, he won't like it. Let's see if he goes for the Emperor, because when we Void Run this, I'm getting a free Emperor. I'm never <laughs> and done that would be pretty huge. Will he attack with Companion? Let's see. I, I guess I also have other Emperor. So it's just all around absolutely amazing. And our two drops are getting massive. I just need to be careful, because uh, sometimes things will be highlighted. But it's not really the case that I can... Yeah, I think it's a good game. When we when we kill this dog, he probably will concede, right? He draws a card, and now we can Void Rant. Which means that he has no board. And we can go for Tutor Nifa. Uh, I mean, now we can go for the counter. And we can proliferate without dying. Which means that we hit even harder, <laughs> Oh man, that's so much harder. We nearly killed him this turn, man. Alright, and we say go, because negate is probably uh, preventing whatever he has that can change the outcome of the next turn. We still have Sunset Revers, but we just don't need them. Sure. He can make huge creature, but it still blocks one of our creatures, so he needs something more. And he didn't get it. Let's keep proliferating. Strike Easy. Strike. One mana, more than enough to win the game. <laughs> Absolutely more than enough. Let's hit, let's hit his face. I think he was uh, being just nice and trying to give us the, you know, the full hit. Because he knows that he lost. Unless he has something like a Ganjo. Theoretically he can kill this, block this, and it's what, 6? But if, if he blocks... Yeah, yeah, he can win then. But we just go for a double reverie then. And we still don't die because we are at... I mean, if he got low enough that second reverie doesn't work, maybe. 
All right, guys, and we are after the game. So you said in the comments that you want, you know, the final impressions or this stuff. So I actually started recording this segment after reading your comments, because since the Wilds of Eldrain released, all my life is just recording, sleeping and reading your comments. <laughs> That's basically it, but I'm super happy you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm really enjoying making them. The new set is absolutely cool and I could not be happier. So what about this deck? What about this super crazy combo? Uh, I kind of like it. I think uh, Staff of Completion without the Pay Life downside is incredible. Extremely nice card. But before you craft anything, all right, with your precious wild cards. Let's look at the other side of equation because I don't know the answer, but I will give you what my experience is. Uh, one of the turns you need to set up the stuff of completion. That means usually you don't anything. Uh, cutdown is very good addition because you kind of can still remove card. However, uh, Ashok is second turn like this. So you miss your turn three and turn five. Against extremely aggressive decks, it's harsh. That's why you have cards like Virtue and uh, just resetting the board with Sunfall. It really helps. And the interaction is powerful. Even if you don't go for the ultimate, you still draw every turn two cards for zero mana. Man, if they cannot answer, you just bury them under the card advantage. So really cool stuff, but hard to set up. And I'm not sure what the meta will look like. And don't forget, of course, control decks can also uh, counter one of the pieces, for example, Ashok or just Staff of Completion and break your combo. So not super sure about it. I would wait. I think there might be better shares to play this. It was, you know, one of the decent shares I could make in this uh, frame of time because I really wanted to showcase you as soon as possible this cool interaction so we can brew around it as well. But yeah, uh, I, I will wait and see. Uh, definitely the, those are a lot of mythics, especially that four Ashoks might not be super meta. Probably two is a safe craft. If you are a control player, probably you won't go wrong with three of them. But I would wait with stuff of completion if you are short because it's very narrow strategy. But so far I really liked it and it's extremely enjoyable. When you have stuff of completion that does all those things for free, it's it's pure fun, man. I, I loved it. I even used stuff of completion with Pain Clive. Imagine me without it. So very, very cool stuff. And with things like Virtue of Persistence, you can life gain. So it doesn't hurt as much. And you have Sunset Reverie to buffer it. So yeah, not sure. I like it, but cautious. Because, uh, you know, things in the first days can look great, but you just need to see how the meta uh, stands. And this can be a little bit slow. So we will see. We will see. I hope you like this video. Have fun, guys, and see you tomorrow.